The Israeli government says it plans to send some Palestinian cancer patients back to Gaza. Well, they arrived before the 7th of October Hamas attacks, but those whose cancer is in remission no longer have the right to remain in Israel. But an appeal has now been lodged at the Supreme Court. France 24's chief foreign editor Rob Parsons filed this report for us. Amira is just 12. When she arrived at the Augusta Victoria Hospital from Gaza, she could neither speak nor walk. The tumor on her brain was becoming progressively worse. Six months later, her progress has been remarkable. Amira is happy to be getting better, but scared that the Israeli authorities might send her back to Gaza. <laughs> Dr. Salami tries to console her, but knows the Israeli government is compiling a list of patients from Gaza it considers fit enough to return. For now, it doesn't include these children, but the fear is that they could be next. All her dreams, her bed, her things, everything has turned to dust. She used to love traditional dress and her books. Our house was full of memories, but nothing is left. And of course, she misses her sister and the rest of the family. In the same ward, four-year-old Hamza is in much worse condition. He too has cancer of the brain. The doctor says he would have died if he hadn't been brought to Augusta Victoria's cancer clinic. Before the war, we used to work with one hospital in Gaza. If they diagnose a child with cancer, they would send them to us. But now, once we've treated them, we can't send them back to Gaza. There is no more chemotherapy there and no more vital care for cancer patients. Despite that, the government insists that the patients on its list should return. Only an appeal to the Supreme Court by the Israeli NGO Physicians for Human Rights has prevented their expulsion back to Gaza. There is no way under no law that you can send patients back to a war zone. This is not only illegal but also inhumane. Our demand is to keep them until there is a sustainable um, long-term ceasefire. Several of the cancer patients on the list are staying at a small hotel not far from the hospital. Their treatment has gone well, and their cancers are now in remission. Well enough, says the government, for them to go back to Gaza. Yes, it's true, but you need follow-up treatment with the doctors. In my case, for instance, last Friday I had a meeting with my doctor. So far, 22 people are thought to have been listed for return to Gaza. The Supreme Court is waiting for the government to make its case before passing judgment. All the patients can do in the meantime is pray that it goes their way.